So guys, today for the script training, we want to go back, back to basics with our Zillow Flex script. Um, as Jason now is taking on more of the sales manager role, his job is going to be to go back every single week. He's going to be auditing the phone calls and listening to a handful of calls every week from Zillow Flex and uh, just seeing where we're at as far as everyone using the ALM script, if everyone's building rapport, the quality of the calls, things like that, those things that which are in our control. So Jay, maybe um, if you want to unmute yourself and just give us some feedback so far uh, um, from the calls that you did listen to last week, maybe was there anything that was really well uh, working really good or things that you noticed and maybe any areas you want to you think we need to improve on yeah no no thanks Enrique so yeah I mean I listened to a few calls on Saturday guys and, and again you know there was definitely some good stuff some basics that were being done and I think you know this with with coaching and training with our Zillow Flex rep the main thing was you know again setting that appointment and not putting any hurdles in front of setting that appointment and meeting with the client immediately. And so, and what I noticed is the calls that tend to be between three to five minutes, meaning they went directly into the ALM, built a little bit of rapport and were able to set that appointment. We were getting a lot more results in, 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 the, in the sense of actually being able to meet the client and going out there versus I saw some of the calls that were taking maybe 12 to 18 minutes and some of those calls were kind of putting hurdles in front of the client and not making it straight to the point like hey let me show you this property and then once you meet them then you can kind of dive deeper into whatever whatever hurdles they may have right so so just going back and that's why me and Enrique before this call we had a you know quick conversation of I I want us to bring it back to the very basics of the ALM and not creating any hurdles, setting that appointment. And again, obviously you can have that next phone call or that next appointment when you show the property to start going deeper into, you know, if they qualify, you know, who's gonna be purchasing with them and just going deeper in that sense. Um, one of the things is with our Zillow, our, our Zillow accountability, we, they do track everything we do. So it's extremely important guys, that we start moving it down the, the sales funnel from when you set that appointment immediately, you have to change status on, on, on your, your Zillow app, right? So again, just going back to the basics, making sure you guys are moving it down that funnel and really sticking to that ALM script with a little bit of uh, rapport building. Yeah. And guys, this sometimes may sound like a broken record because we're always saying this, but if everyone was doing it at 100%, then we wouldn't need to have these trainings, right? And a big part of what we talked about at our quarterly meeting was how do we get better at what we're already doing? And that comes with repetition, that comes with picking things apart, that comes with uh, uh, staying fresh, sharpening our skills, role-playing, all that stuff, because you can be uh sometimes you're on sometimes you're off right it's it's one of the if you let's say you haven't gotten calls let's say you were off let me give you an example let's say you're on the shift and last week you were off right it was your off shift so you didn't get any calls last week and then you start today let's say today's monday and you're back you're back on shift well that whole week you've had to kind of cool down and get out of momentum of taking calls right you can get a little bit of a little bit rusty in that time. And I listened to a couple of calls and like some of the things that stood out to me were like, um, it's just like not being prepared for the call, right? Not understanding that this is a recorded call where there's like a lot of gaps or like, I even heard someone ask the client to hold on really quick. Can you hold on real quick? And like, there was like a long pause where the client was just like holding on for like 20 seconds. And I was like, what, <laughs> what are you doing? Right. Or like, they're answering the phone and you can hear all this like freaking noise. It's like, it's like almost like the phone was being dropped, right? <laughs> like as they're answering the phone, um, you know, so I think we have to remember it's like someone like, it's almost like if you have like 
a storefront, right? If someone walks into your store, a customer, a stranger, they're observing everything, right? Like, is it clean in there? Like, do you greet them? Like, what's all that stuff, right? Same thing on your call. Like, they're listening. Is there hell of noise in the background? Are you fumbling your phone? Are you, do you sound like you, you like you just woke up or you weren't prepared and stuff like that? So not only do we need to follow the script, but we also need to be conscious that the client is only can listen to you, right? So if you sound like you're in a tunnel or if it's like super loud in the background, that also plays a role in the quality of your call, right? And then if you're just totally off script and putting a bunch of hurdles, you're going to lose that client, right? You're going to lose that momentum because when the client clicks on the lead and it patches you in, you know, with Alex, the client is excited. Like, Hey, I just clicked on this property. I'm excited to speak to someone to go see this property today. So you got to ride off that momentum. You got to make sure that that experience the client is having is a great experience. Um, how the call sounds, how you greet them, how you speak, all those different things. Right. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're just going to go down the line and we're just going to do ALM. I want everybody on the call to do an ALM. And we're going to give you like a pass or fail. This is a re-audition, basically, a re-audition. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for, did you hit the A, the L, the M? Do you, this was the quality good as well, right? Like, are you ready to go? Are you pausing? Are you fumbling and stuff like that? And then also, are you building a little bit of rapport on the call as well, right? Now, those calls, you don't want them to be like one minute where it's like, all right, yeah, I'll show you the property at two and then you hang up. But you also don't want them to be 15 minutes where you're like pre-qualifying and asking them about their whole entire life history, right? We don't want to do that. We want to make them like shorter and sweet. We want to get to the point, but then we also want to be friendly and have some customer service and, and ask a couple questions that just kind of builds off of what they said so that they remember you. But when you meet them, you'll be able to go into detail of their whole entire situation, right? So like you said, like Jason said, the three to five minute is a good sweet spot um, to hit all those points. So I'm just going to call and on really everyone. Quickly, uh, and really quick, let me, just, let me just add something. Just so you guys know, Zillow, when they record the call, they also have an AI where they give us a score of the ALM, right? So I don't know if everyone knew that, but again, they, they go back in there and they go ahead and score if we went ahead and did, did the ALM. So we want to make sure that we score high, you know, in that category. Yeah, that's a good point you brought up. That's a new thing that they just rolled out this quarter and going forward, the AI technology is going to be listening to that. It's going to give us a score. Um, so yeah, it's being to by Zillow's AI technology. Um, so let's see, who should we start with first? Who thinks like, is there anybody on here that's like, I got this thing down. Like I'm, I'm like, I know my calls are top notch, like my Zillow flex calls. Who thinks they have a... Who thinks they are doing really good on their on their Zillow Flex calls? Raise your hand. Raise your hand and put your hand up if you think like you're you're doing pretty good on your calls. Okay, Connie. Anybody else? Roscoe, Diana, Jessica. Okay, great. Raise your hand if you're like uh, I might need a little bit of work on mine. And that's cool to be honest, right? If you, need, if you feel like you need a little bit of work, raise your hand if you think you need a little bit of work on your calls. Cool. Okay. So let's give an example of, of I want to hear from someone who said that, that they're, they're doing really well on their calls. Uh, Connie or, or Jessica, who would like to volunteer and go first? First. Diana's ready. Oh, Diana, we can't see you. I think you. 
I, I know, but you can hear me. <laughs> All right. Well, I like okay. having my camera on. It bugs me not to have it on, but trust me, it's better. Okay. Uh, you said gonna... you have your kids home today. Yes, exactly. All good. Uh, okay, so let's, let's role play this. You got, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be the client. I'm looking at 123 Main Street and ring, ring, ring. Alex here connecting you to Enrique. Hi, Enrique. This is Diana, your Zillow Premier Agent. How are you? Hey, I'm good, Diana. Thank you. Cool. I see you're interested in a property here in uh, 123 Main Street, huh? Yeah, yeah. I saw that one. It looks, it looks pretty nice. I wanted to schedule a showing. No, oh, it is. It is really nice. Okay, so tell me, uh, let's see. This is, you're looking to see this property when? Uh, today, if possible, or tomorrow afternoon. Okay, Either yeah, today fine. in the afternoon or tomorrow. We can do that. What time frame works for you today? Uh, after four o'clock, any time after four. Okay. Let me check with the seller, make sure that it's available today after four and we can go check it out. What did you like most about this property? Uh, actually, I like the, uh, the size of it. It's like 2,500 square feet. I, I need something that's a little bit bigger because I have a large family. I need at least four or five bedrooms. So the size was pretty good. And uh, it looks pretty nice the way they remodeled it and the way it's kind of decorated and stuff. So I liked how it looked as far as the, uh, the remodel, the upgrades that they did. Yeah, okay, perfect. And do you live in this area? Are you from Campbell? Um, uh, I actually live in West San Jose, like borderline Campbell. So yeah, I'm familiar with the area. I don't live too far away. I'm renting right now. So it's, uh, yeah, I, I definitely know the area. Okay, good. All righty. Well, I'm going to check if we can see it today at four. And then if today doesn't work, what's a good time tomorrow, Enrique? Same time um, after four. I'm out of work and, and free after that. Okay. Time. And so you're open to the Campbell area. I want to pull up some other properties that are similar to this so we can have something to compare to. Uh, I know that you're looking for a larger home and you're renting now. So tell me about how many bedrooms are you looking for so I can make sure that we get the right properties uh at least at least four um four we can do at minimum but if we had a fifth bedroom that would be uh that would be ideal if we had at least five okay for minimum and then any other must-haves um like the way this one is like if there's a house that's similar to that one that's just move-in ready it's already kind of remodeled i don't really have time to do any repairs i just want something that's ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one seemed like it, it kind of checked those boxes. So yeah, remodeled, newer, you know, kind of looking. All right, cool. That's best for me. All right, I got it noted. So let me pull up a couple properties. What I will do is send you a text message when we hang up with my personal cell phone number. This way, if any other properties come up, send them over and I can schedule the showing for us as well, okay? Sounds good. Any questions for me before I let you go? No, no, no. Thanks. You've been uh, very helpful. Um, I'll just wait to hear back from you. Yep, you got it. I'll follow up in a minute. Thank you, Enrique. Thank you. You'll be getting a survey after this call, so hopefully you can give me a great rating. I honestly haven't said that. I'm sorry. I can't wait till Jason critiques me on my calls. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good. End of role play. Good job. Let's give it up for Diana. Uh, honestly, for me, I got zero, zero complaints like that. To me, that was spot on. Um, the attitude was great. The energy was great. She made me feel warm and inviting. She hit the A, the L, the M, right? Like what are my must haves? The location. She booked the appointment. Um, she was thorough. She said, Hey, I'm going to send you my info. Um, the survey thing uh, to me wasn't a huge deal at the end. Um, I thought it was a really, really good call. What, Jason? What do you got? Yeah, no, I, I think it was it was a really good call. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe a little more energy. 
I would like a little more more energy, but but overall, I think it was it was a it was a it was a sound call. It was a good call. I mean, you you know, I like I like that you also repeated Enrique's name, right? I think that's a big key point that a lot of people don't do. It makes people feel important when you say their first name, and so you, you definitely you definitely hit on that. Um, I think the other thing I would have did was maybe just met, let them know, hey, look, I'm also going to send you my contact information. I'm going to send you over my V card just in case you have any questions. You know, you can go ahead and reach out. You have access to my Zillow reviews and all that good stuff. You know, those just little little add-ons here and there to show a little more value. Said, I think that shows value. You said that part. Oh, she did. Okay, then I missed it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Then I missed it. Yeah, because definitely send the V card because it shows, you know, they, they have access to your, your Zillow reviews and gives gives a little more credibility. But if you said it, I missed it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I mean, could you have built a little bit more rapport by maybe asking a couple follow-up questions? Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe where do you work? You know, when I said, hey, I live nearby or hey, how long have you been living there? I mean, that's, I think that those things could have added a little bit more to it. But even if you didn't do that, like, I think, I think the call was really solid. Um, and, and it was, it was, it was definitely good enough. Um, Enrique, let me ask you, because again, you, you, she hit the, the M, right? The must haves. Is that what, what that M is for? Is it the must haves? I thought it was motivation. Yeah. But what so got you me, thinking about moving and he needed more space or something. Yeah. So I didn't, I want, yeah. I want to get clarification on that, on that M part, right? A, appointment location, I think is pretty straightforward, but just cause I know we have a lot of newer agents here. So like, if we can dig a little deeper, what questions for motivation? Like that's, and the reason why I ask guys, because that's whenever I'm role playing, that's one of my biggest, the hardest ones. Either when, even when I'm doing LP, mon, LP mamas, right? It's the motivation. So I don't know if, if anyone else has that difficulty. So what questions kind of lead into that? So I think the motive, when it comes to Zillow, the M stands for motivation, but from reading their script that they gave us, I think they, they mean like must haves and like, or what's bringing you to that area and stuff like that. Cause they don't really want you like asking a bunch of like detailed questions, like on that first call. Um, so it's more like, what are your must haves? Like maybe what's motivating you to look at this property for this property, right? Got it. For that, that particular property. Um, what are your must haves or what did you like most about this property? Right. Cause when you ask, what did you like most? That's going to get you, that's going to get them to tell you what motivated them to reach out about this home. Um, Perfect. So I think it's kind of all of that, you know? And, and I think that's an easier um, way guys. And the reason why I wanted to recon explain it, because again, it's, I think that it, it keeps it really tight when you're just asking about that specific property property. Right. Like Enrique, what you know, what would you love most about this property? Or Enrique, why did you choose this particular property? Right. It's good. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Carlo wrote something in the chat. Uh, why now, now is the perfect time for you to buy? What did you mean by that, Carla? Oh, I meant like sometimes, like it depends on the phone conversation. Um, you wanna in my experience that I've been asking that question, because I want to make sure, like, I want to understand their motivation, like why now is like a perfect time for them. So I know like the timeline, what their motivation is. And I, I dig a little deeper, but I like what you guys said that I think we should just focus on the must haves first. You, you yeah. know, I, I like that guy. And again, I don't, I don't want to spend too much time on, it. I know Ricky wants to go around the room, but I like that because again, it's, it's, um, it's it's a really it's about that property you're not they're, they're just barely getting to know you so right it's like if you're asking your motivation like hey i really don't know you carl like what am i going to be telling you my whole life story right now so i like that you're just surrounded directly at that property right so I, yeah that's good yeah and then once you meet with them i think that's the time when you're going to want to dig deeper right so so i would keep it surface to like what's what's your motivation for this particular property or this particular neighborhood or area or what's bringing you there you live nearby anything like that cool okay um some of you guys that raised your hand that said you think you need a little bit more work now we're going to go to the opposite end and 
who needs some work on their calls and would like to try it out today. Miles, let's go, Miles. And then we'll do, uh, we got Lisa and Dewey. Cool. I'm actually not on Zillow Flex yet. I was going to uh, role, pl role play with Jason later, so it's a good time. Okay. Well, now's a good time. Yeah. So, Jason, uh, go ahead and role play with Miles. You, you'll be the, the caller, the client, Jason. All right. Got it. You want to introduce me, Enrique? Oh. Yeah. I'll introduce you. So Jason is uh, looking at 123 Main Street in Union City. Um, is that where you're from, Miles, Union City? San Leandro. San Leandro. Okay. Let's just say he's looking in San Leandro, right? Because it's somewhere in your hometown. Uh, all right. So Jason's looking at 123 Main Street in San Leandro. And uh, ring, ring, ring. Alex here connecting you to Jason. Hey, Jason, this is Miles, hello. Premier Agent. How are you? Uh, do, doing well, doing well. Good, good, good. Hey, so it looks like you want to look at that property on 123 Main Street. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Definitely want to take a look at that property. Okay, great. That's a nice house. Um, what's a good time for you to see that house, Jason? Uh, you know, I'm off of work today at, at 530. So if we can see it today in the evening, uh, let's see, maybe around 630. Between 6.30 and 7.30. Okay, between 6.30 and 7.30. All right, that works. Okay, so for any reason, if that time is not available for the seller, uh, what's a good second time available for you? Uh, it would have to be maybe on the weekend, probably uh, today's Wednesday. So I'm thinking, well, I could probably do Friday evening again. So Friday between uh, 5.30 and 6.30 would work. Okay, got it. Sounds good. Um, so let me ask you this: uh, what, what what caught your eye about this house? What is your what is your must haves? So so I have I have a few dogs, and I'm looking for a nice sized back backyard for my for my two dogs and for my two kids. Uh, right mm -hmm. now we're kind of we're, we're in a we're in an apartment an apartment or a condo, and it's uh, it's a little crammed with the, with the two dogs and the kids, and so I'm, I need I need a nice sized yard, and I noticed this this had like a ten thousand square foot lot. Mm -hmm. And so it, it gave us an idea that, you know, we can one, you know, maybe expand on it or go ahead and just have the, the kids be able to run around. Okay. Sounds good. So is there, besides the backyard, is there any other must haves for you? Um, you know, th this property also looked turnkey where I didn't need to do too much work. So we, you know, we're not away from doing, you know, working on a fixer upper, but we would prefer something that's already completed. Okay, sounds good, Jason. And how about the location? Um, is this uh, the location you would like to stick in or are you open to a little bit more areas? Um, yeah, so we're, we definitely want to stay in, in the San Leandro area. That's just because my, my, uh, my in-laws are in that area, so they, go, they watch the kids. So we want to stay near, near the in-laws so they can take care of the kids. Okay, that's, that's nice. That's definitely convenient to have that right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat. So, all right, Jason. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, so um, Jason, um, let me see. We have, you'd like to see the house today since you're off between 6.30 and 7. And uh, if that doesn't work, Friday, 5.30 to 6.30. And you're looking for a big backyard for the dogs. Um, pretty much a turnkey house in San Leandro. Does that all sound, sound right? Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, maybe like a, a minimum of a three bedroom. So two okay. bedrooms. Two, I'm sorry, three bedroom, two bath. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so what I'd like to do, Jason, also is uh, I want to look for some other houses in the area, and I'll go ahead and send them to you so maybe we can make the best out of our day and see more than one property instead of just one. Um, so after we got the phone, I'm going to send you over my personal contact information so you have my number and you can call me if you have any questions or concerns before we go see the property. And then also um, at the end of this call, you'll get a Zillow review. So if you're gonna go ahead and leave that review, we appreciate it. And um, I'll be calling you back shortly just to confirm that appointment for today between 6.30 and 7. So, sounds good. All right, thanks, Jason. It was a pleasure right, talking to you. Cool. cool. All right, let me have it. What do I need to work on? I, I think you did. A, I think you did a really good job, Miles. I mean, this is your first time role playing this, and and you hit, you hit the ALM, 
Well, um, actually, you and me role played this on my way to work this morning in my head. So, oh, did we? All right, right on, right on. No, good, good job. I mean, honestly, I know you've been doing the training, so it shows that you've been putting in the work. Um, I think, yeah, it's just it's just getting more reps. But overall, I think you did an amazing job. I did a really good job. What do you guys think? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I, I personally, uh, yeah, I, good job, man. Cause I remember, I think we put you on the spot like a few weeks ago and, uh, and you butchered it, bro. You know what I mean? I know you were a little like embarrassed and you're like, you know, but you've been practicing since then. And like, it's night and day today was like night and day, man. Like you hit pretty much all the points that you've had to hit. So even if at a bare minimum, you just did the call the way you did right now, it's it's a pass right it's passable now how do you make that call better and how do you make it like go from good to great that's where i think you would want to add a little bit more rapport so my advice would be um anytime he answered you and let you know like about his dogs or about his kids you know being watched by the in-laws that's your opportunity to maybe ask some follow-up questions. Oh, you have two dogs. Awesome. What kind of dogs do you have? Right? Because then that that shows now that you're a little more interested in him and what he's all about. And that's how you create a friendship that's more than just, a, you know, someone looking to, you know, see a home today. So, or when he said he had kids and the in-laws are nearby. Oh, awesome. You, have, you know, what, how many kids do you have? Or what, how old are your kids? You know? And then maybe even sharing about yourself, San Leandro. Oh yeah, it's a great city. I grew up in San Leandro. I know this area like the back of my head. Like those are things that I would have added to go from good to great call, right? Um, but I, I do want to just recognize you, uh, Miles, for, yeah, you could tell you put the practice in, man. I can definitely tell you've been practicing this thing because you didn't seem nervous. You didn't stutter really. Like you hit all the points. Now it's just a matter of like refining it so that you like hit it out of the park on each call. Really, really good anybody, job. Yeah, really good job. Does anybody else have any uh, feedback besides what I told Miles? Was there anything else that you guys maybe that he did good or maybe that he could have added? I think he did good. I liked his tone. tone. I didn't catch the part. Did he um, say that he was going to add other properties to the tour? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He did. He, did that. he did towards the end. He said he'll add a couple other properties so we make the best use of our time and we can tour a couple other homes. Um, good stuff. Great. All right. Dewey, you ready? Okay. Yes. okay. Who would like to time. role play with Dewey? Who would like to role play with Dewey? Who would like to be the client? Connie, let's go, Connie. Oh. Okay, Connie. Um, Connie wants to see uh, one, two, three. Main. Are you guys in the same room? You guys are right next to each other, huh? Yeah. <laughs> She's right behind. Probably gonna echo a bit. Um, okay, let's do this. Uh, let's get someone else. Maybe someone who's not in the same room. Iris. I'm gonna call on Iris. Okay. Can you be the client? Okay, I'll be the client. Okay, so Iris wants to see one, two, three Main Street in uh, East San Jose, starter home. And, All right. Uh, so Alex here connecting you with Iris. Ring, 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 hello. Hello, this is Iris. Yes, this is Iris. Hi, Iris. Uh, this is Dewey, your premier agent. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well as well. Um, I saw that you were interested in 123 Main Street. 
Yes, I am. All right. What time would you like to tour the home? I would like to go see it today at three. Today at three. Sounds good. Let me check that down. And uh, I'm going to check to see if we can get the to see the home at three today. What would be your second time choice that worked for you? I am only available today between three or four. Three or four, okay. All right. Most of my clients also find it helpful that I add similar property with similar char characteristics so we can have a few homes to compare with. Um, what is your must have for this property? Oh, I want a big backyard. A big backyard? Yes. All right. No worries. I live in the East San Jose. I'll, I'll help you find a great home with the big backyard um, just to get everything uh, here in check. So we're going to see 123 Main Street in East San Jose from 3. Uh, if 3 doesn't work out, 4 p.m. And we're going to look at property at, with big backyard. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Sounds good. Um, and after the call, I will call, uh, send you information about which house to, uh, we're going to see first. Feel free to call me if, you, if anything changes. And you will also receive a survey after the call. I would appreciate it if you give me two thumbs up. Thank you, Dewey. All right, thank you, Iris. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. All right, give it up for Dewey. Solid, solid attempt. I'm a little bit nervous. Feedback. <laughs> Sorry. Feedback. I think building report would be like, oh, you need a backyard. Do you have like, why you need a backyard, a big backyard or something? How many rooms do I need? Thank you, yeah. Yeah, Let's look I look at the script. Yeah, I think, uh, no. So I think Dewey, I think, um, again, I think it's just, it's just a lot more reps. I mean, mm -hmm. overall, you, you know, you got, you got a lot of it out, but I think it's just really, really taking time and role playing the heck out of this, you know, 20 times a day so that you just mm -hmm. become extremely comfortable with it. Right. Um, but again, I think you have like the skeleton, you have the, the layout, but mm -hmm. I think you just need to, you need to practice it a little more. Um, again, I, I like what Iris said. That's something where whenever they say something, that's your opportunity to build rapport. And, and again, it's just like, hey, you know, like, you know, we're definitely going to look for properties with a big backyard. Just curious, you know, what, what interests you in a, in a big backyard, right? And that allows them to open up so you can, you can build some rapport. I, I get a lot of people tell, telling me um, that they are only available at one time and that's it. Uh, they're not open to giving me another date or anything. So when that happens, I usually tell them that some homes are owner occupied and I need uh, we need to give them notice in advance. And usually they will start opening up and I'll be like, oh, okay, then this day and this day. And then I'm able to kind of like, okay, like, and then I try to get them excited to see like, oh, I'm going to put more homes together and go see it. But yeah, I get a lot of people saying like, it's only this home and I, they don't want to tell me what are the most haves or anything. I would, um, so that's a good thing that you brought up, Iris, because you're going to get some clients that are a little more closed off, but mm -hmm. I think it's also you coming from a position of authority, right? remember like they called you so how do you say it in a nice way we're like no i need this information so let's role play that real quick because i think that this will be helpful so uh iris uh what time did you want to go see the property today um it's only today at three. Oh, okay today at three awesome so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna check with the seller to make sure the seller is able to let us in at that time um, and then I can give you a call back to confirm once we hang up, I'll give you a call back in the next 30 minutes or so. Now, sometimes, uh, the seller may be booked at that time and they may need an alternate time. Is there a second time you might be available or another day in case today doesn't work? Um, uh, we can do at six today. Okay, great. 
Uh, okay, great. So um, I'll check for three, definitely. And if for some reason three doesn't work, then I'll see if we can get you in at six. Does that sound good? Yes, sounds good. Okay, so let's stop right there. So there's two different ways I could have did that. I can say, hey, if that time doesn't work, what's another time? Or I can say, hey, some, I can explain why, right? Hey, sometimes the seller might be booked. I need to check with the seller to make sure they can let us in. Sometimes that time might be booked. Is there another time just in case this one doesn't work? So when you put the explanation to it, then usually the client will be like, oh, okay, yeah, maybe six if that doesn't work. I remember too, I had one that told me um, it's only today at three. If not, I'm going to go to the open house. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you may run into like some clients who are just being like, stubborn and unreasonable um mm -hmm. but that's not I, I don't think that's going to be most common right? i think most people when you talk them through it like like most people are, are reasonable right so mm -hmm. i would just talk them through it okay hey no problem that's definitely an option um i'd love to see if i can get you in there sooner this way you're not having to walk around when um you can tour it privately when there's not a bunch of people walking around the home you know, so if there's another time that works for you, I can try to make one of those available. This way you get the best use of your tour. You're not, you know, uh, in, uh, you're not being interfered by, you know, other people around you walking through the home. So I would say something like that. Jason, what do you got? I think another thing that Enrique did really well is he said it with confidence, guys. He said it with 1000% confidence, no hesitation. And I think that's, that's a big, that's a, that's a big takeaway in the sense of you, by you practicing this, you're going to have that confidence and then you can go ahead and dictate how the conversation is going to go. So just again, guys, that, that is, he didn't stutter. He just went straight to it. So I think that that's a huge takeaway that you guys got to recognize. Yeah. Um, I definitely wouldn't lie to a client. What if the home is staged? I see some of you guys type this in the, in the comments. Uh, what if the home is staged and not owner-occupied? The home could be staged and owner-occupied. The um, client, I'm, I don't yeah. know. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, there's no need to, like, you know, bend the truth or anything like that, right? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend doing that, guys. I would just stick to the script, guys. You don't need to do that, right? If you stick to the script, you don't need to, like, make shit up. So, um Dewey, I think part of it, like Jason said, is the confidence, right? Like, and here's what you guys got to remember. These people called you, right? Like they went online and they asked for information. It's not like you're calling them and you're like trying to like bow to their feet, you know? So I want you to switch your role, Dewey. We're like, hey, you're calling me and I'm giving you customer service, right? The same way like someone would walk into i used to work at apple right the same way someone would walk at walk up into apple and they would need like your help well you're gonna real like tell them how it works right like they're not telling you how it works like you're telling them how it works because you work there right right so i think i think you just need to understand like what position you're in because if you sound scared like you don't want to say something wrong like the client's not going to sense that confidence That makes sense. If the same thing, guys, if someone walked on a car lot and they want to test drive something, they just don't test drive it when they, you know, there, there has, there's a, there's a process that needs to happen. Right. So you got to, you got to take it as you guys are in a place of authority. You guys have the keys. You, you guys are the real estate agent. You guys are the one that can open the door for them. Right. So you just have to have that, that, that confidence and, 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 and a good way, give that authority. Yeah. Um, and then Dewey, what I would give you as well is, is building the rapport, right? Like we had said before. So anytime they give you a piece of information, you can ask a follow-up question to go a little bit deeper with what they told you. So if Iris wanted a big backyard, oh, nice. Yeah. You want a big backyard. Do you like to entertain a lot? Oh, do you have any, um, you know, pets or anything like that? You know, some, you know, you want to ask some follow-up questions to understand why they want a big backyard. Right. And that's going to get them opening up a little bit more and and building rapport with them. OK, let's go to the next one. Um, Lisa, you want to try it out? 
I didn't want to try it out. I just want to, um, I think because it's a phone, normally I just want to turn my camera off so I can just kind of give it that attitude. But yeah, I'm ready. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so ring, ring, ring. Uh, well, actually, let me set the stage. So uh, I'm, I'm the client. I want to see 123 Main Street in uh, uh, Morgan Hill. And it's a $1.5 million home, nice home, big backyard, two-story house, just so you know what, what the house looks like. Uh, Alex here connecting you with Enrique. Hello. Hi, Enrique. This is Lisa, your local five-star Zillow premier agent. I see that you're interested in 123 Main Street in Morgan Hill. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to uh, check that property out. Awesome, that's a beautiful two-story home. So what's drawing you to Morgan Hill? Do you currently live there, work there? Is it your dream location to retire? Um, yeah, well, I'm from the area. I currently rent and, and uh, we're, we're looking to buy a home. We've been saving up for a while. So I think we're ready to make that leap and, and buy a home. Oh, that's awesome. I actually grew up in Morgan Hill myself and live out there as well. I'm glad to connect with you. So you mentioned you're renting oh, now. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. What were you saying? Sorry about that. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was, no, I was just saying, yeah. yeah. That, I was just saying, yeah, that's that's nice. You live in Morgan Hill. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, it's great that, you know, we would want to work with someone that knows the area. Awesome. Awesome. So I hear that you rent now. Um, so is your lease going to be coming up anytime soon? Um, yeah, we're on a, we're on a month to month, but yeah, we just want to check the home out first to see if we, you know, if we, if we like it, it looks, there's only a few pictures. So I want to see more of the inside. Perfect. Okay. That sounds good. I see it's a four bedroom, two bath with a great big backyard. The price point is 1.5 million. Um, is this something, um, price and size wise that works for you? Yeah, yeah, that's that's more or less what we're uh, looking for. Um, I'm not sure on the price yet. We're still trying to figure that out. Perfect, awesome. Okay, I see that. Um, so let's see. So what date and time works for you so we can do a property tour of this place? Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna end role play right here. I'm gonna stop, stop role play. Um, just because I wanna correct something. Um, Lisa, we we want to stick to the script, right? I, I feel like we're getting completely off script right now where we're adding a bunch of other things that are not sticking to like the meat and potatoes of the script, which is appointment, location, and motivation. Um, it's important that we follow that format and follow that, uh, follow those points in that order, right? Because like we, you did a bunch of stuff and then now we're barely getting to the appointment right now. So I would go, I want to start that over. Like you said, you're five star Zillow premier age and like all like you don't, how do I say this? Like, I don't want you to add a bunch of extra fluff if it's not necessary um, okay. because it might take away from you sticking to the script itself, right? To actually hitting the, the three points you got to hit. I would say, hey, when, you know, I would start off with, hey, when do you want to go see that? So immediately appointment, that's the first thing. And then when you go into location, that's when you can say, hey, Morgan Hill, hey, I've lived there. It's an awesome area. Hey, is there any other areas you're interested in? Then you can feed, you can build off the lo off the, the L part, the location, and then the must-haves, right? And then you'll you'll build off the must-haves and ask some follow-up questions from there. So let's try again, okay. but sticking more to the script and and not putting too much on it. Okay. So same scenario. One, two, three, Main Street in Morgan Hill. Uh, ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hi, Enrique. This is Lisa, your Zillow premier agent. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. Awesome. I see that you want to go ahead and tour 123 Main Street in Morgan Hill. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. That's. I wanted to see that home um, today at four, uh, between four and five if possible. Okay, so today at 4 p.m., yeah, let me go ahead and check with the seller to see if we can get in at that time. If for some reason that's not going to work today, Enrique, what would be a good alternative time? 
Um, you know what? I'm pretty much free any day this week after between four and five, because I'll be done with work and then I can make some time. So today or tomorrow or the next day, either one. Okay, great. So um, we'll shoot for today at 4 p.m. But if any day between four and five works, I'll be sure and um, let you know if we want to go ahead and change the date. Okay, so great. That, okay, so that's appointment location. So I see this property is located in Morgan Hill. Are, um, do you currently live in Morgan Hill? Um, yeah, actually, um, I rent in Morgan Hill right now. So we're, we're trying to stay in that area. Okay, that sounds awesome. Yeah, let's see if we can get you into uh, home ownership. And um, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> I guess I would normally say like, awesome. So the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and contact the seller, see if we can get you in at this time. I'm gonna send you a text message so you can have my contact information and we can stay connected. And after that, I'll follow up with you to confirm our tour time. Sound good? Yeah, those are all good, definitely. Um, but the motivation part, what are your must-haves? What do you like most about this home? Right? Right, it's a beautiful two-story Appointment location, location I motivation. It's a big backyard. Is that something that you're looking for? So, so let me, so there's, we'll stop right there. You just told me everything about the property, right? Yeah. Which is, you did a close-ended question you told me like how great it was and then, is that what you're looking for yes or no instead what I want you to say is hey what did you like most about this property so that it gets me to tell you what I liked because maybe I didn't like that it was two-story maybe I only liked the street it was on you see what I'm saying so by you changing the way you ask that question it gets me to talk instead of you talking more right so it's the same thing you're trying to ask but you're getting the client to talk more so Hey, what did you like most about that property? Hey, what and then I'm going to tell you what, yeah. And then I'm going to tell you what I liked. And then from there, you can like build off of what I told you. Right. So let's try that one more time. Hey, what'd you like most about the property? Enrique, what did you like most about this property? Um, you know what? It, I like the neighborhood. It seemed like a quiet, um, uh, a quiet street and like all the homes look pretty nice. And then, um, you know, it seems like the right size. We need something, you know, a little bit larger. We have, you know, three kids and one on the way, you know, so four or five bedrooms is definitely what we need. And um, yeah, I like the backyard too. The backyard is, is, is beautiful. Awesome. All right. Yeah, that sounds great. If you were interested in other opportunities in Morgan Hill that have similar features and characteristics, would you mind if I add them to our tour so we can compare them? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. So stop right there. So rapport, I just told you I'm having a kid coming on the way. I told you I like the big backyard. I told you I like the street. This is, this is not just for you, but this is just for everyone who role played, right? You have to now take what I told you and then, oh, cool. When are you, when is, you know, when are you expecting? Is it a boy or a girl or awesome? Yeah. The backyard does look pretty nice. Do you guys entertain a lot? Right. And like you want to find out you want to be more interested in me than just trying to hurry up and get off the call right mm -hmm. and I, I know maybe you're on the spot right now because I'm I'm coaching you in front of everyone but you got to remember like this is what it's going to take to deliver good calls right you have to listen and then follow up on what I told you so let's do a quick drill I'm going to throw something at you and then what would you follow up with when I said that to you okay um okay. yeah actually i need a big house i need a big house because you know we have three kids and we actually have one on the way oh congratulations when's the baby due oh yeah the baby's actually due in december like i'm super nervous because you know the other three kids seem to be fine but this one's i have three girls this one's actually going to be a boy and like i'm super excited because you know i've always wanted a boy and uh so i'm a little bit nervous to be honest Ah, uh, don't be nervous. That's the best Christmas gift you can possibly get. I bet the girls are excited. How old are they? Uh, my daughter, she's, um, one of my daughters is 10. The other one's seven. The other one's six. So I got my hands full right now. Oh my gosh. And a boy with three girls. 
That's exciting. Okay, yeah, stop. I want to see you in a bigger home. Okay. Okay, stop right there. Do you see how my face lit up when I started talking about my kids? Yeah. And then you automatically, since I know you have kids, you automatically just became you, right? And like, oh, cool. What are you having, right? Like now, like there's some rapport being built instead of just skipping over that part, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna throw something else to you right now. Then I want, how would you respond, right? Yeah, um, no, I like the backyard. The backyard looks freaking nice. I like the swimming pool that it has in the backyard. It looks like a, it looks like a pretty nice backyard. Oh, that's awesome. So it sounds like you entertain. Yeah, you know, I, I do a little bit of barbecuing there. You know, I like to have friends over for the games and stuff like that. So, and then my kids would, um, I have three kids, so they would probably love the pool. We've always wanted a pool. Oh, that sounds like a dream. How old are your kids? Uh, 10, 7, and 6. Okay, stop right there. Okay, so do you guys see the point I'm trying to make here, right, is when someone gives you a piece of information about them, it's your opportunity to follow up on that and ask, go deeper with that information. And that's what gets them talking. And that's what turns this from just a, a Zillow call to like, no, I met this cool agent over the phone and I'm excited to go tour this home with them, right? Because they seem pretty cool. They seem interested in, in what we have going on, right? Which Lisa, I know you know how to do that because I've talked to you one-on-one, -on -one, right? And I know like naturally you know how to do that. But sometimes when we're on the phone, we completely forget to do like all those things that make us great, right? Yeah, I think I was doing it opposite too. Like I was doing the rapport in the beginning and then I was ending with the tour time, the day, the connecting next and then um, the survey. Like, so, so appointment, location, motivation. Yep. I think the big so, thing, guys, Enrique, let me just jump in real quick. I think the big yeah. thing is giving the giving them what they want immediately, right? Everybody wants, and that's why you're setting that appointment. They called for this particular property. So you want to give them that. And then you then it allows you to go and start kind of peeling that onion back, right? So you give them what they want. And then you start asking some questions that lead to the report. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm glad. And I know I don't usually uh, volunteer for anything. So I'm like, no, get out of your shell. You need to volunteer to do this. So good job. Good <laughs> Thanks, job. Guys. But this right here, Lisa, is, is going to make your calls a lot better because it isn't that you don't know what to do. You just may not be doing it in the, in the most effective order, right? So that it's, it's smooth and it flows and, and you get it to the point, right? What's the whole point of this, of, of the Zillow call? What's the goal? Um, to get out on a tour. To, to book tour the appointment. Property, book the appointment. Yeah, yeah, book the appointment. That's the number one objective is to book the appointment. The number two is to build rapport, right? They, they both go hand in hand, book the appointment and build rapport. So immediately get the appointment out of the way. That should be the first thing that you check off the list. All right, great. When do you want to see it? Okay, great. We iron that out. Now, hey, what'd you like about the property? What do you, you know, is that the area you want to be in? Awesome. Oh, you have two kids. Awesome. Like what year, what age? Oh, cool. I have two little ones as well. You make that small talk and then you just cut it short. Awesome. Hey, I'm excited to meet with you guys. Guys, let me go ahead and, and uh, check with the seller and confirm. I'm going to text you my info. I'll be in touch with you within the next 30 minutes to an hour to confirm. And then I look forward to meeting you there at the property today at four o'clock. Sound good? Boom. Right? So in that order, right? And you can do all that within three to five minutes. All right, guys. That's all we got today. We're coming up on time. Uh, round of applause, everybody who participated today, those of you guys that gave input, those of you guys that are observing, those of you guys that have put yourselves out there, because I know it could be nerve wracking to put yourselves out there as well. So uh, good job, everyone, for showing up. Let's make it happen. Let me know if you need anything. Peace.